البيت في اربع عائلات ساكنه فيه لما صار القصف احنا ربنا اكرمنا وطلع منه مجموعه ومجموعه لغايه الان تحت الانقاض وفي ناس من الجيران ثلاثه استشهدوا وابن عمي مرته وبنته وابنه استشهدوا من الـ 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 الاشياء المتناثره من البطون الحقيقه البيت زي ما انتم شايفين تدمر نهائيا يعني ما ضلش فيه ولا شيء اننا نؤكد اننا سنواصل في رمضان خيرا مما سبق باذن الله وان اهلنا في القدس والضفه والداخل المحتل مدعوون بشد الرحال الى الاقصى من اليوم الاول وتحويل كل لحظه في رمضان الى صدام ومواجهه واشتباك مع العدو وان امتنا مدعوه كذلك here to press towards advancing a diplomatic solution to the end of the cross-border hostilities between Israel and Lebanon. The United States remains committed to advancing lasting security solutions achieved through a diplomatic process that will allow Lebanese residents to safely return to their homes as well as allowing Israelis to return to their homes safely in northern Israel. We're hopeful we can get there, and we thank the Lebanese government and the people of Lebanon for their partnership in this critical endeavor.
The only positive role the Security Council can play in this conflict is to pass a resolution that says this. The UN Security Council condemns the horrific Hamas atrocities of 10-7. It calls on Hamas to surrender immediately, lay down its arms, hand over its war criminals for a tribunal and release the hostages. And until then, the UN Security Council stands firmly by Israel's right to defend itself and defend its people so that the 10-7 atrocities can never, ever happen again, as Hamas is threatening to do.